For this function, we've previously determined that it has a minimum value, and that the minimum value is 984, which happened when we plugged the 2 in for x. Essentially, the vertex of this function is at 2, 984. So that, that would help us identify the range. So for the domain, because this is just a polynomial function, uh, the domain is going to be all real numbers. So for any quadratic function, the domain is all real numbers. Now if we look, we don't have any square roots, we don't have any variables and de denominators. Those are our usual types of restrictions. And so here we can just plug in whatever number we want for x. Now our range is going to be affected by our minimum value. So that is a minimum value. So there are no values, no y coordinates below 984. They're all above it. And so my range is going to start at 984. So my intervals always go least to greatest. So that minimum value, that is the least value, or the least y coordinate. And they're just going to get bigger from there. So they're going to go on to infinity. In other words, uh, this is a parabola that's facing up, and that vertex there is at 2, 984. And so all my y-coordinates, my lowest y-coordinates, 984, and they go up forever.